The government's looking to put a major dent in crime and tackle unemployment in 2017. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keish Latterly. And I'm Charisma Robinson. With the country on course to a positive economic outlook, the Prime Minister says government must address those lingering issues which have challenged every administration over the past decade. Now, noting that the connection between unemployment and crime exists, the Prime Minister says he'll continue to tackle those issues head on. Here's Clint Watson. Prime Minister the Right Honourable Perry Christie says as the new year begins, his government is still concerned with the rate of crime. We're concerned that we have to find a formula to even have further improvements um, statistically on crime. We are still horrified with the amount of murders and the young people who are involved in it, either as victims or as victims through the killing. And so, so we, we are dedicating more and more resources to the Royal Bahamas Police Force with a view to ensuring that they have the best opportunity to address this issue of crime. 2017 began with many Grand Bahamians sitting at home due to the closure of memories and the Lakayan Beach Resort hotels, as well as the container port, all major employers there. And that we're working very, very, very strongly to try and get them open as quickly as possible so the people of Grand Bahama would be able to have this outlook that I think will be a positive one for Grand Bahama. We have approved a $200 million new port in East Grand Bahama. Um, it's, I think, up to Carnival Cruise Lines now to um, indicate its commencement date and what it, when construction will start on that. Mr. Grissy, though, feels good about how assiduous his government has been in responding to those who suffered greatly from Hurricane Matthew. We have had a plan that we have implemented that have given people materials and those people who qualify for materials and labor that we're in the process of building their homes back for them. Now that has caused a, quite a problem because it's a costly affair. But we cannot not do this. Um, this is something that we have to do to be able to ensure that we, our people could move back to normalcy and, and we're moving forward with that. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.